you stick to your process. As soon as you want to get off your process, that's when you start burning money and you start going into ridiculous hours. I got called to one just before Christmas, uh, Fulton Hogan's doing it, and there's this uh, 80 metre shaft at Hamilton, goes th vertically down, and then there's one on the other side of the river, and it's 600 metres under the river, and these two sewer mains, and they've got the job to repair and replace these two sewer mains, but there's these existing high voltage 33 kV feeders that they're redundant in this same tunnel. And they've asked us to go and pull it out. And it was a huge debacle that they couldn't get solved. And I got asked through a friend of mine to go and help them uh, do that. But, you know, even companies like Filton Hogan is there's some massive projects that they get involved in around the place like Christopher's. So, yeah, you know, there's, there's opportunity once you're, you know, not just the small water connections or, or for the builders. There's some real um, ones working for like SEC water and all that sort of stuff as well. The more hurdles they put in place with compliance and using their systems of booking it in. It just means you, your price goes up because it's hard to do, it's hard to get into, and if you specialize only in that, you get very good at it. It's a huge market where no one else w wants to do it because it is hard work. It's a lot of effort, you know, there's a lot of care and attention involved in it. So therefore, you own the space. Therefore, you get to dictate when and how you deliver the work to a point, you know, you try and always do the right thing by the customer, but you stick to your process. As soon as you want to get off your process, that's when you start burning money and you start going into ridiculous hours. The, the one thing that you've got to be mindful of is if you don't step up to the plate, and put in the appropriate management and admin resources to do it. You can't do it yourself and you can't be on the fly. Like you were saying where, oh, we'll just plan it for next week and we'll just you know, rush it all through. You just can't take that approach moving forward. You've got to have a really structured process with checklists and double checking and people. You've got to have the people in place to do that. And as long as you're charging the right numbers for it, happy days, you know, it's a, a really great opportunity.